hello everyone in my today's video I will teach you solving physics problems these problems are selected from Cambridge International as level physics book let's start chapter number one and chapter question solution question number one is a car travel one complete lap around a circular track at a constant speed of 120 km per hour. This question has three parts. Part 1 is if one lap takes 2 minutes, show that the length of the track is 4 km. Part B of the problem is explain why values for the average speed and average velocity are different where the part 3 is determine the magnitude of the displacement of the car in a time of 1 minute. Before solving the problem you must completely understand the question and statement of the question. We start from part A of the problem. Here, a car travel one complete lap around a circular track at a constant speed of 120 km per hour. If one lap takes Two minutes show that the length of the track is 4 km. In the given data we have speed. Keep in mind that this is the speed not velocity where speed is a scalar quantity and velocity is a vector quantity. So here this is speed and speed is a scalar quantity. The speed of the car is given as 120 km per hour before solving the question first we will convert 120 km per hour into uh, km per hour into km per minute we know that 1 hour is equal to 60 minutes so putting the value per hour we have 120 divided by 60 dividing 120 by 60 is equal to 2 km per minute Okay, in the part 1 of the problem state that if one lap takes 2 minutes, so that the length of the track is 4 km. Here the time given is as t is equal to 2 minutes. The car takes 2 minutes to complete one lap of the uh, circular path. So we go to uh, solution. We know that speed is equal to d by t where d is the distance and t is the time. Distance divided by time is speed. We multiply this equation by t. Multiplying both sides by t, t multiply by s and d by t multiply by t. On this side, the right side, the t will cancel with t and d will be the only remaining on the on this side here d will be equal to s by t putting the value in the above equation d is equal to 2 km per minute multiply by this is the value of d and this is the value of t putting these values in this equation will result in 4 km which is the required answer and it shows that the length of the track is 4 km. Now let's proceed to the part B of the problem. The part B state that explain why value for average speed and average velocity are different. Okay. Uh, look at this uh, picture here you see this car traveling around a circular path 
if the car start traveling from this position and it return again into this position then according to the rules of physics the total displacement covered by this car will be equal to zero as displacement is the change in position so uh, there is no change in the position of this car <coughs> then the displacement d is equal to df df is the final position where di is the initial position df minus di the final position is equal to the initial position in this case so df minus di is equal to zero the total displacement covered by the car is equal to zero kilometer and we know that the velocity is given as displacement divided by time putting the value for the displacement zero and the time taken t then zero divided by anything is equal to zero so the total velocity of the car is zero kilometer per hour or per minute so the average velocity speed of the car is 120 kilometer per hour but the average velocity of the car is zero kilometer per hour and 120 is not is equal to zero hence we have proved this statement now we proceed to question number three which stated determine the magnitude of the displacement of the car in a time of one minute part three of this problem is little tricky but uh, you must keep in mind the initial parameters here solutions of part c from part a we know that the speed is given as two kilometer per minute and the time taken to complete the whole lap is two minutes in this case we are dealing with one minute here if this car start traveling from this position and complete complete its uh, one lap in two minutes then we know that in one minute it will complete half lap it means it will travel from this position to this one now we need to find uh, the magnitude of the displacement we need to find the displacement between this and this position look at to the image clearly it is a circular path and according to circle this line will pass from the center of the circle which is a diameter and we all know that diameter of the circle is equal to two time radius of the circle here d is equal to 2r we know that the circumference this this complete lap is the circumference of the circle is equal to 2 pi r now circumference of the circle is equal to d time pi where d is the radius of the circle d is equal to circumference of the circle and the circumference which is the completely distance traveled by that car we have proved in the previous uh, part part one of this problem which is four kilometer now putting the values in this equation we will find the value for d which is the diameter r the displacement covered by this car in one minute we will get the required answer as 1.273 kilometer thank you this is this is the end of question number one